In this biochemistry video, we're going to discuss about the processing of dietary lipids by reviewing the section 17.1 from Leninger's textbook. So, section 17.1. Now, let's move over to the side. So, to be absorbed through the intestinal wall, dietary fats need to be washed, so to speak, with bile salts, which kind of act like detergents and lead to the formation of mixed micelles of bile salts and triacylglycerols, or triglycerides. So, step one is the emulsification of dietary fats. are emulsified into the formation of these mixed micelles. When mixed micelles are formed, this enables the activity of lipases in the small intestine, which convert triglycerides into monoglycerides and diglycerides. So, this is step number two which is the degradation of triglycerides by the intestinal lipases degrade triglycerides These and other breakdown products can then be taken up by the intestinal mucosa and converted back into triglycerides. So, in step 3, fatty acids, I'm gonna abbreviate them FAs, and other products are converted back into triglycerides. So after they go through the intestinal um, wall, they are converted back into triglycerides. Triglycerides, then um, cholesterol and apolipoproteins are packaged into these aggregate structures called chylomicrons, which I've drawn here at the left. This is a chylomicron. So in step four, triglycerides, cholesterol, and apolipoproteins apolipoproteins are packaged into chylomicrons in step 5 these chylomicrons uh, travel through circulation, through the lymph and the blood, to tissues. So, chylomicrons travel to tissues. And in the capillary of tissues, we have a lipoprotein lipase, or LPL, which is activated by APOC2 from the surface of the chylomicron and converts triglycerides or hydrolyzes triglycerides into fatty acids and glycerol. So in tissue capillaries, step 6,
we have lipoprotein lipase which is activated by APOC2 which stands on the chylomicron over here APOC2 and this allows for the hydrolyzation of triglycerides into fatty acids and glycerol FAs and glycerol let's say in step 7 fatty acids can then enter the cells And if we're talking about the myocyte, or the muscle cell, then they will be used or oxidized for fuel, usually. And if we're in the adipocyte, adipocyte or in the adipose cell they will be re-esterified into triacylglycerols and stored for the longer term what is left of the chylomicron usually known as the chylomicron remnant or chylomicron remnants travel to the liver and it is taken up through receptor mediated endocytosis and the remaining triglycerides that enter the liver in this way can either be oxidized for fuel or used for a process called ketogenesis or the production of ketone bodies and this is basically a very rough big picture overview of how dietary lipids are mobilized and transported. We will get into specifics in future videos, so please make sure to subscribe if this is in your interest. Oh, and if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. Thank you for watching.